One of the standout features of Stamps.com is its user-friendly postage printing capability. In this video, we'll show you how to print a stamp using our net stamp sheet of blank postage labels. If you don't have a sheet available, you can also print directly onto an envelope, which you can learn about in our printing envelopes video. We begin by logging into Stamps.com. Once there, select the Mail tab. In the Print On drop-down, select Net Stamps Sheets. Next, look on your net stamp sheet and find the serial number. The serial number lets our software know the style and format of our net stamp sheet. Enter the number of your net stamp serial number in the designated space. For international postage, use the Mail To drop-down menu to select the country you are mailing to. Choose whether to have Stamps.com calculate the postage amount or you can specify the postage value for each net stamp yourself. In this tutorial, Stamps.com will calculate the postage amount. Click the Service drop-down menu to select the type of mail piece and the USPS service you will be using. This example uses the Stamps.com default setting of First Class Mail. Enter the number of net stamps you would like to print, or select the Print All box to print an entire sheet. Most people choose to print an entire sheet for added convenience. You can enter a reference number and select a cost code to track postal expenses. Now is the time to place your blank net stamp sheet in your printer. Original net stamp sheets are symmetrical. They can be loaded from either direction. But you must determine which side of the paper your printer prints on the top or the bottom. This is easy to figure out. All modern printers have an icon which show which side of the paper is printed on. If for any reason you are not sure which side your printer prints on, we suggest selecting Print Sample. This will print on plain paper. When you are comfortable with your print, load your blank net stamp sheet and return to stamps.com. Select Print Stamps to begin the printing process. Congratulations! You have just printed your own postage stamps with Stamps.com. If your net stamps fail to print properly for any reason, you can quickly and easily reprint them without any extra charge. Just click the reprint button, which becomes visible after every print. And that's it. Thank you for using Stamps.com, the simple way to send. At its core, Stamps.com empowers you to generate postage right from your computer. One of the simplest ways to do this is by printing directly onto an envelope. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of printing postage on an individual envelope. Sign into your Stamps.com account and select the Mail tab, then click the Print On drop-down menu. From the list, select the envelope size and style. If you will be printing on a standard business envelope, the size is number 10. For most envelopes, Stamps.com automatically sets the mail class to first class mail with the weight of one ounce. This is roughly equivalent to the weight of five sheets of paper inside a standard number 10 envelope. You will see the carrier menu has selected USPS and the service will be the standard for a first class letter. Click the extra services button if you wish to add services such as registered mail and return receipt. If you're sending your envelope at a later time, you can adjust the mailing date here. The preview displays exactly how your envelope will print. Uncheck the return address if you plan to use envelopes with the pre-printed return address. You can also deselect the option to include a delivery address when using a window envelope. If you do not want to print postage on your envelope, uncheck the postage box. If you use cost codes, open the cost code drop-down menu to select the correct code or add a new one. If this is your first time printing an envelope with stamps.com, we suggest printing a sample to determine how your printer handles envelopes. Sample prints are free. Please print as many samples as needed until you are comfortable. When you are ready, load your envelope into your printer properly and click Print Envelope. Congratulations! You have just printed a return address, delivery address, and postage directly onto an envelope with Stamps.com. If your envelope failed to print properly, just click Reprint. And that's it! Stamps.com offers more than just postage printing. It allows you to create shipping labels for your packages directly within the platform. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of printing a package label with the same simplicity. Begin by logging into Stamps.com. Once there, select the Mail tab. Open the Print On drop-down menu. Choose either plain paper or adhesive shipping labels in one of two sizes. If you have a high-volume roll printer, choose your label size here. For this tutorial, we'll be printing postage on a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Enter a Mail To address, either manually or from your contact list. Check here to send an automatic email letting your recipient know a package is on the way. Next, place your package on the Stamps.com digital postal scale with the weight displayed. Once you have an accurate weight entered, choose a carrier. Then open the service drop-down menu. Here you will find all the services available for your package grouped by delivery time. 
the cost of each service is displayed in the drop-down menu. In this example, we'll select the very popular Priority Mail Medium Flat Rate box. By clicking the Extra Services button, you can arrange for things such as COD and Return Receipt. Using the next two drop-down menus, you can arrange for insurance and specialized tracking options. If you need to change the mailing date, that can be done here. The total shipping cost is displayed at the very bottom of the window. Under the preview of your label, you will find the checkbox to print a receipt or add a cost code. If you use cost codes, open the cost code drop-down menu to select the correct cost code or add a new one. Now load your plain paper or shipping label into your printer and click Print Label. Congratulations! You have just printed a domestic shipping label complete with postage and tracking. And that's it! Stamps.com is the easiest way to buy postage online to print stamps and shipping labels when you need it. In this video, we'll guide you through adding funds to your balance so you can use it to print postage anytime. You can add money to your Stamps.com account in two ways manually or with auto funding. Manually adding funds gives you control over when and how much to add. Auto funding is a convenient option that adds funds automatically when your balance gets low. Here's how to manually fund your account. Inside your stamps.com account, click the drop down menu next to your account balance and select buy more. Pick the amount you wanna add, then click purchase. A pop-up window will ask you to confirm. Click the confirm button to complete the purchase. Your updated balance will show up immediately. Setting up auto funding is just as simple. Here's how to do it. Click the drop down menu next to your account balance and select buy more. In the window that pops up, choose auto fund account. Then check the box for automatically purchase. Set the amount you want to add and the minimum balance that will trigger auto funding. Once you're done, click save and you're all set. You've now set up automatic funding for your stamps.com account. By following these steps, you'll be able to manage your balance easily and ensure seamless shipping for your business. And that's it. Preparing certified mail with stamps.com online is a simple process. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to get your certified mail ready in no time. To get started, sign into your stamps.com account online and select mail. Open the Print Postage On drop-down menu and select the pre-formatted Stamps.com certified mail label you will be using. Once selected, you can see it displayed in the preview pane. If you do not have a specialized label, they are available from Stamps.com by clicking on the Supplies drop-down menu and selecting Mailing Supplies. They're offered in different quantities and will be delivered right to your door. Next, enter the delivery address. First Class Mail will automatically be selected from the Service drop-down menu. Under Extra Services, Certified Mail will be selected for you. If you would like to receive a Notice of Receipt, select Return Receipt or Electronic Return Receipt. If you want a specific individual to receive this delivery, select Restricted Delivery. Once you have configured all of the required options, be sure your Certified Mail label is loaded into your printer properly and click Print Label. And that's it! Stamps.com simplifies mailing and shipping. No matter what you send, Stamps.com also generates reports to help you analyze past performance and plan for the future. After logging in, click the Reports tab to view report types by cost code, type, or service. To generate a report, select the type from the Report Type drop-down menu. Use the Custom Date Range option. Choose a date interval and specify the data you want included. Finally, click Export to save as a CSV file or print to create a printable version. And that's it. At Stamps.com, we know how important it is to keep track of all your shipments in one place. That's why the History tab is your go-to hub for everything related to your shipments. In this video, we'll walk you through key features of the History tab. After logging into your account, click on History to open the Print History page. This page provides options for viewing and managing your shipments. The Search Print History feature helps you locate a specific shipment using filters like date range, recipient, or tracking number. You can set a date range to narrow down your search or filter shipments by status. 
The eligible for menu lets you display packages that still qualify for a particular function. Request a refund brings you to a list of shipments eligible for refunds, typically for packages that haven't been scanned into the mail stream. Create Scan Form allows you to generate a single barcode for all shipments for the day, making it faster for the carrier to scan your packages in one go. File an insurance claim takes you to all shipments that have insurance coverage through stamps.com. Here, you can easily file a claim for lost or damaged items. If you need to schedule a pickup, the Schedule a Pickup option allows you to arrange a pickup with UPS or USPS. Just remember, USPS pickups require at least one Priority Mail or Priority Mail Express package in the mix. Clicking on a shipment will open a detailed view of its status and any additional services added. From this panel, you can select one or multiple shipments to request refunds, create return labels, or assign cost codes. Lastly, if you want to export your print history, just select a date range and click Export to download a CSV file for use in Excel or Google Sheets. If you would like to find out more about the functions on the History tab, please see our article in the Help Center for more details. And that's it. The Contacts area in Stamps.com helps you manage addresses and information for your shipments. Think of it like an address book, but with extra features to help streamline your workflow and boost your productivity. You can easily organize your contacts by groups or cost codes, and even import contacts from other platforms like Outlook. In this video, we'll show you how to use the contacts area to improve your shipping and mailing process. To get to your contacts, simply click the Contacts tab at the top of the page. Here, you'll see a list of all the people you've already added. Whenever you manually add a new address on the Mail tab, it will automatically be added to your contact list. On the sidebar, you can filter and organize contacts by group or cost code. To add a new contact, click the Add button. This opens a panel where you can enter the contact's details. You can also add a group and cost code right from this panel. Once you've added the details, no need to click Save. Your contact will automatically appear in your list. To save even more time, you can create groups to organize your contacts by categories like clients, suppliers, or distributors. For example, if you regularly ship to the same group of suppliers, you can group those addresses together and print all their labels at once. To create a group, click Groups in the Action menu, then choose Add slash Edit Groups. Name your group and start adding contacts. To add contacts to a group, select them from your contact list, click Groups again, and choose Change Groups. Select the group and hit Save. Cost codes work just like groups. You can assign them to contacts and use them to organize your shipments by cost. Select the group you want and click the Select All checkbox. After you click Select, those contacts will be added to your batch of labels. You also have the option to pull the details already entered in the contact list for the email notifications, cost codes, and reference numbers by just clicking the checkboxes by those areas. If you already have a contact list saved elsewhere, like in Outlook, you can easily import it into stamps.com. To begin, click the Export button in your contacts area. This will download a spreadsheet with the correct headings in place. You can delete any pre-existing addresses, but be sure to keep the headings intact. Then add your address using these headings as a guide. After saving the spreadsheet, click the Import button in the Contacts area. This will open a window where you can select the saved file. Once imported, the addresses will be available for use in your Stamps account under Contacts. Now that you know how to add, import, and organize contacts, you're ready to use your contacts list for all your mailing needs. Thank you for using Stamps.com, the simple way to send.